Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to game number four in the 2019 T.C. Williams season. Tonight is a special game. This game is being played at the St. James Athletic Facility. The Titans are coming on to the field, and there is some buzz in the house. The Titans, 2-1, will be taking on the West Springfield Spartans, 2-0. This is a historic event, and this is the first time in the state of Virginia that a high school football game has been played indoors. I am Jim Gibson here along with my colleague Felix Tremell, 2019 Titan football. The Titans come in with a record of two and one, suffering a defeat to the South County Stallions, 41 to 19 last week, 41 to 13, sorry. The Titans went into the half down, 14-13 in a competitive first half. In the third quarter, the Stallions turned it on offensively and defensively, and the Titans ran out of gas. The Titans' two ga previous games before, they smoked Hernan 53-0 and had a thrilling win over Robinson on the road. So the Titans' new home this year is the St. James inside, a very unique facility here that encompasses a lot of sports. The Titans are trendsetters once again in the football world as this is, again, the first indoor high school football game in the state of Virginia. The West Springfield Spartans come in with a record of 2-0. and oh. They've only had two games. They had a bye week. Their first week they defeated Forest Park 34-27 to in a close contest. And then after their bye week, they played the Robert E. Lee Lancers where they defeated them soundly 43 to nothing. So the Spartans are definitely going to be motivated in this game as they do not want to be the backdrop for the historic win for the Titans. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The last time these two teams happened to meet was in year 2016. The Titans were victorious 21 to 17. We now will turn it over to the PA announcer, James Gibson. Remind you to take on the responsibility of good sportsmanship. Play strong, play hard, and play fair. Once again, welcome to the St. James Sports Facility, this year's home of the T.C. Williams football. For competition between T.C. Williams and the West Springfield Spartans. History is being made tonight as these two teams are the first teams in Virginia high school to play football game indoors. The Virginia High School League reminds you that interscholastic activities are an extension of the classroom and that our lessons best learn when proper respect is accorded to all. Please let your good sportsmanship show as you watch tonight's game. Now, please stand as we honor America with the playing of our national anthem. Presenting the colors this evening is a T.C. Williams Jr. Honor Guard. The Honor Guard is led by Con Commander First Lieutenant Cole Harbor. The Honor Guard members are Cadets Second Lieutenant Brian Velatro, Second Lieutenant Jackson Bahara and Command Sergeant Major Parker Brown. Please remain standing for the playing of our national anthem and the departure of the colors.
The national anthem was performed by T.C. Williams' own Marching Titan Band as they formed the tunnel for the team to come out. The West Springfield Spartans feature a traditional spread attack that you see a lot in high schools today. The, the Titans, of course, are led by their star running back, Anthony Eaton, who's have, is once again having an impressive season. He's paired up with Robert Longerbeam, who will be wearing number seven tonight. That'll be his fourth game and fourth different number. That's his traditional number under center. Their Jekyll and Hyde attack has caused defenses fits. And when teams start to load up the box, you have number one, Treante Rogers on the outside, who's proven to be a receiving menace, has caught numerous deep touchdowns this season. The captains for the Titans are number seven, Robert Longabine, number three, B.J. Lee, number five, Anthony Eaton, and number 53, Luke Wilson. For the Spartans, number five, Anthony Musquette, number two, Brooks Stevenson, number 77, Spencer Herzog, and number 45, Carter Elder. The Spartans won the toss and have deferred their option to the second half. That means the Titans will start on offense to begin this game. Definitely an impressive crowd here. Coach Gibson has filling in for this epic night. I don't know if, if they're just enthusiastic or we're inside and it seems much louder. But a good night for football. Titans will start on offense. That's probably where they want to be. They have an explosive offense. A lot of guys to cover. Be interesting to see if one of their weapons from last week is, will be able to play. Ricky Ross was uh, un, uh, fell to an injury and could not uh, go last week. But the Titans uh, offense will is much more effective when they have all of the weapons. Definitely, if we're talking about athlete to athlete, Titans definitely have the advantage if you, between Eden, Longerbeam, Rogers, and Ross. I'm gonna begin to start to nickname them the Four Horsemen Coach. Not to mention uh, Eason and Honesty, who have uh, fared well as well. S Spartans get ready to kick off number 23, Will Desso is the kicker for the Spartans. Back deep for the Titans. Number four, Michael Honesty, and number four, Trondy Rodgers. It's a squib kick that goes out of bounds around the 15-yard line, and that will be a penalty. The West Springfield coaches want to argue that it, went, that it was touched, but it was not called on the field, and the ball will be on the 35-yard line for the Titan offense. Titan offense primi primarily this season has been a more traditional offense, I formation, single back, more pro style sets, but they do have the propensity to go three, four wide with longer beam under shotgun. Titans look like they're gonna come out in, in an I formation or a single back with an H back and a tight end. Spartans run on a late defensive lineman. Hand off is to Eaton. He gets off the left side. Gets 10 yards and a Titan first down. First play, Anthony Eaton left. First play, 10-yard gain for the Titan offense. Spartans number 99, Geezy 
Umana was running on late, and they ran right where he was supposed to be. Longer beam under center, hands it off to Eden again off the left side, breaks a tackle, gets another 10 yards, and is close to another Titan first down. They mark it just short of the first down. The Titans are going to flip the formation here with Rodgers and Michael Mensa flanked out to the right. The H-back to the right, even in the single back set. Gets the handoff, the counter back to the left. He gets off tackle and gets about two yards. There's a scrum at the bottom of the pile. The re referee comes in. It may have been a fumble there, but it does not matter. The Titans recover, and it's a first down. The Titans showed a counter action there, loaded the formation to the right, and ran back to the left. Titans this week are employing the wristband, and the coaches are calling plays, and players looking down the wristband. Now they go to a shotgun with Easton flanked out to the left and trips to the right. They show the read to Eaton. Longer mean keeps, and there's nothing there. He may have gained half a yard. Spartans are definitely king in the backfield. The better read on that play may have been to give the Eaton around the end. Titans go back and go back to a traditional eye formation. The power to the left side, hand off to Eaton, slips through tackle and is able to get three yards. It would bring up third and about six from the 40 yard line of the Spartans. The Spartans have now got eight in the box with the safety cheating down to make nine. This this is almost time to get send Treante Rogers on a double move. Titans come out, trips to the right, east and to the left by himself. Treante Rogers in the slot. Third down, Rogerbeam goes to the right to screen to Michael Honesty, blocked perfectly. It's a first down, down to almost the 20 yard line. And the Titan offense is humming now. The Titans picked the rollout to the right, ran, ran the halfback screen the other way. The Spartans were completely fooled. And Michael Honesty gets about a 20 yard reception there. And it'll be Titans first and 10 from the Spartans 20 yard line. Titans stay in the same formation. That's Anthony Eaton flanking Longer Bean. The give is to Eaton up the middle and a gain of three yards. Spartans are subbing in D. Lyman. If they were Titans were good there, they would snap it quickly. They're still confused. Spartan was able to get off the field. Hand off again to Eaton. He meets a he meets a linebacker. The linebacker goes backwards. Eaton gains another three to four yards, which would make this a third and three for the Titan offense. He's still in the same formation, trips to the right, Easton on the, by himself to the left. Longer Bean keeps it around the edge. He's able to stay in bounds and may have gotten the first down. Even though number 15, the cornerback, Grayson Jenkins, was outside and kept his contain, Longer Bean, as a superior athlete, was able to get around the edge and get another Titan first down. So Titan offense is moving. Inside the, inside the red zone now. They might be just outside the 10, so it's possible to get another first down before they can get in the end zone. Titans switch back to the I formation. Hand off to the right side. Good hole there, closes up after a gain about three or four. Titans now attacking the right side of their offense, the left side of the Spartan defense. And the Spartans are routinely subbing players out on defense since the Titan drive is starting to wear on the Spartans. It'll be second and six, seven minutes and 35 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Longer beam under center. 
lead to Eaton, gets another two yards. We'll make it third and about three from inside the five yard line. Looks like the Titans are bringing in a heavier set here. Linebacker number 30, Adam Hunters, come in, as well as number 23, defensive end Samuel Mako, to add some girth up front as the tight Titans go to a full house backfield. Fumble the ball, and Longer Beam is able to recover it. Funky exchange right there. Titans had the play, was blocked well. First thing that's got to happen is the clean exchange, even if it was a handoff or a read. So Nate makes it fourth down and, and a eight. The scoreboard says fourth and nine. The Titans still can't get a first down without scoring a touchdown. Obviously, they want to punch it in here. So it'll be fourth and nine, and it'll be a timeout call by the Titan offense. With six minutes and nine seconds remaining in the first quarter, there's still no score between the Spartans and the Titans. Great atmosphere here. This is a, this is a definitely a unique environment, and the fans have come out to support well on both sides. Titans find themselves in a slight predicament, aided by their own mistake. It's now to be fourth and goal from the ten yard line. Correction, fourth and nine. The Titans can still get a first down. They flex out Eaton late, and it's a pop pass. Wide open, touchdown, T.C. Williams Titans. Robert Longabine and Damian Thompson. That was his first catch of the season. That was not on film, Defi definitely a tendency breaker, and he went wide open. Titans strike first with six minutes and five seconds left in the first quarter. Longer beam to Thompson. The extra point is good. And the Titans lead seven to nothing. 605 remaining in the first quarter. The Titans use one half of a quarter. The Titans get a touchdown. That was a definitely a tendency breaker, coach, as they throw it to Damian Thompson, his first reception all season. Absolutely. The uh, Titans uh film session worked. He was as open as could be. Eaton was the absolute perfect uh, decoy as uh, two of the linebackers just went with him, left a, a seam open. Anybody could have caught that pass. That's what they called the old pop pass that Tim Tebow made famous in Florida. But it was like you said, eyes go to Eaton. Eaton's the feature. The tight end hadn't caught a pass all season. First time he's thrown to him, Good time for that play call. Way to finish that drive. Strong drive for the Titans, a good showing. Uh, West Springfield was overmanned and overmatched. Let's see if they can answer on uh, as they get the ball. Thomas Watson lines up to kick it for the Titans. Back deep for the Spartans, number two, Brooks Stevenson. And number 25, Don't have a 25 listed in the Spartans roster. There's a flag on the play. Looks like it was offsides on the Titans, a legal procedure. It will back them up five yards. Offsides. That's, that's the one play you'll see in, in football that's called by the umpire, not the referee. One of the one of the one of the Titan players got across the line too early. The Titans will now kick it from the 35-yard line. And correction, that's number 26, Ethan Davies.
for the Spartans. Back with Brooks Stevenson deep. Watson sends it away. Left footed kick. Ends up rolling out of bounds. And the Spartans will get it on the 35 as well. That's that that hurts because on the kick on the previous one that was called back for a penalty. Number 26, Ethan Davies actually bobbled the catch. So the Spartan offense will start on the 35 yard line. I mean on the 40 yard line. Correction. It, it is the 40 because of the five yard penalty it was kicked from the 35 yard line and not the 40. So it's 25 yards from the kick, from where the kick is off. That is correct. All right. Anthony Musket, number five, is the, is the Spartans quarterback. As the Spartans line up in the spread, two receivers to the left, two to the right. A running back to Musket's left. They give the handoff on the zone, and it's met in the hole by number 30, a Adam Hunter. Maybe half yard gain there. Spartans getting the, in this cause relayed there. That was number two, Brooks Stevenson, on that at rushing attempt. Now the Spartans go empty. Three to receivers to the right, two to the left. Number 26 in motion. He gives it, gives it to him on the end of the round and gets maybe two yards before he's met by a host of Titans. That was Ethan Davies there. So it's going to be third and third and seven for the Spartan offense. Spartans are looking down their wristbands, getting the play call. They got trips to the left, one to the right. Swing pass to the outside. Oh, he is met with authority by B.J. Lee at the 49-yard line. Brooks Stevenson, it was wide open, but B.J. Lee closed the gap with his fourth and long one. The Spartans look like they're going to go for it. Titans are still trying to get themselves together on defense. And they draw them off sides, which was the intent of the Spartan offense was to draw them off. That was number 64, John Pinsar, who the Spartans were able to get to jump off sides there and it gives them a first down. Got to be disciplined in that situation. The Spartans now have the ball on the Titans 46 yard line. Spartans are in empty. The quarterback keeps it. The quarterback keeps it. Anthony Musket, he gets a gain of eight on first down. Anthony Musket on the carry. Pick up eight, second and two. It's a se second and two. This, this Titans are definitely showing zone. But the Spartans flex out three wide. There's only two Titans over there. Spartans have two in the backfield, an H-back and, and a running back. They give it on a, on a, on a dive. That was a handoff to Brooks Stevenson, who was able to complete it for the run for a first down. It'll be the Titans 33 yard line, first and 10 for the Spartans. Spartans still in the same formation with the H back lead. Hand off, they give it to his pull, keeps on the option, and he is pulled down for a lot. He was able to get a gain of one, but Dylan Lee, number 91, and there's a penalty thrown late. Looks like it's going to be. Unsportsmanlike, they wave it off. The 
flag is waved off. It looked like there was some extracurricular down the field. The referee waved it off. It's going to be second and eight. Spartans are looking for the are looking to the sideline, looking for a call. They receive it from the coaches. Musket relays it to his team. Now they go trips to the left side, where Stevenson is the lone back. He looks to throw, goes one-on-one, -on -one, right in the hands of number 26, Ethan Davies. He dropped it. It was actually a good throw. Decent coverage, it was a great throw. Hit him in the hands and he dropped it. It's third down. It'll be trips to the left for third and eight for the Spartans. There was an issue with the clock. The clock it said seven minutes, then it said 11 minutes. Official timeout. And now it's corrected to three minutes and 53 seconds. Issue's been corrected, 3.53 remaining. Third and eight, West Springfield from the 32-yard line. It'd be third and eight for the, for the Spartans on the 32-yard line of the Titans. Spartans stay in their trip set to the left. A, B, and to, to the right. Go, Spartans go back to throw. Receiver wide open, catches it. Runs parallel. Is able to get the first down. Is able to get to the 20-yard line. Number seven, Reed Dexter. Too much time, too much of an open receiver. Red zone, 20 yard line. Titans have gotten him in the third and long, but have given up some long plays. Spartans have now gone empty. Comes the motion man, they give it to him around the left side. Longer Bean picks him up and drives him down. Brooks Stevenson was able to get three yards there. Robert Longer Robert Longer Bean don't known for his offensive prowess was being blocked, got off his, got off the block and drove him down with authority. Second and eight. Second and seven for the Spartan offense inside the red zone at the Titans 16 yard line. It's fakes the throw, QB draw, well blocked, was able to get a first down. If the Titans do not want to flex out to the, to the three receivers, the Titans can't give up the runs up the middle. The Titans are giving up gash in the middle. Anthony Musket is probably half pass or half throw. Spartans are down the split back with two minutes and 17 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Spartans in the, tight, in the red zone, handoff. Knocked out of bounds. That was Ethan Davies on the end around. It'll be second goal and goal from the five-yard five line. Spartans' offense was well, well thought out. There was two people to steal the edge. Titans aren't getting off the blocks. So we're going to have to make a big play here. Spartans stay in the same formation, split. Running backs, two receivers to the right, one to the left. We give this to Brooks Stevenson, and it's a touchdown from five yards out. Brooks Stevenson on the carry, touchdown for Springfield. Titans offered little resistance on that drive. They had their chances to get off the field, primarily that fourth down. But that was preceded by a long third down to work gain by the Spartan offense. There was about three third down conversions there where the Spartans were able to keep the drive going. And they were able to answer the Titans score. Will Desto lines up for the extra point. And it's almost blocked, but it is good. And the score is now 
Keaton Williams, seven. Westport Oil, seven. With two minutes and two seconds remaining in the first quarter. What did you see on that drive, Coach? It looked like a lot of uh, little misdirection. Um, they had a formation where they have three receivers on one side. Titans cover two of them. And that's the that slot receiver is the one who uh, got the big third down com conversion. Uh, this is going to be uh, blow for blow. Spartan offense definitely looks efficient. I think the Titans assisted a little bit. I think I think the coverage needs to be different. They, like you said, they have that formation with three receivers out there. And there's only two guys. You block and throw it to the guy who's uncovered. But if this is going to be the case. Your offense can't flinch. So the Titans need to go back down the field and keep the pedal to the metal. Like I said, the Spartans have not played the toughest of schedules. The Titans have definitely played the toughest schedule. Well, Desso is back to keep, back to kick for the Spartans. Back to keep is Treyante Rogers. They flip it. Adam Hunter falls on it on the 36 yard line. That's the same thing as if he would have kicked it out of bounds. Titans come back out. Two minutes and one second remaining in the third quarter. Tied score at seven. They come back in the I formation with Eaton as the halfback. Quick pass to Rogers, breaks a tackle. He's to the 45, breaks another tackle, and gets near the first down. Well, Shows the same formation that they did before. Rogers. But instead of the handoff to Eaton, they toss it out to Rogers. And it's close to a first down, maybe second and less than half a yard. Pickup of nine, second and one from the 46 yard line. Good, safe play. Spartans now have nine in the box. The handoff is to Eaton. He blows through a tackle in the backfield and gets five yards of the Titan first down. Anthony Eaton on the carry. Pick up a six and a first down at the 50-yard line. The Titans have first and 10 at midfield with a minute and 40 seconds left in the first quarter. The way the Spartans are selling out on that Eaton run, Fake that screen. He said one of those receivers deep. There'll be nobody there. Run to me on the handoff to Eaton off the left side. Gains the edge, and he is upended after three yards. With number 15, and Grayson Jenkins. Carry. Pick up of about three. Second and seven. Seven yard line. Titans still in the eye formation with the stack receivers to the left. Spartans break through, but Eaton's able to break it. Gets a first down when he should have had a loss on the play. And Number 72. Pick up a 13. Ashman and a TP. First down. Was in the backfield to meet Eaton. Eaton danced right around him like this was a Friday night dance. And ran around the left side and got a first down. Titans ball at the 36 yard line of the Spartans. Titans on the move again. Eating off the left side again. Gets two yards before he's met by a host of Spartans. Anthony Eaton on the carry. Spartans up may hold, I mean, the Titans two. might hold here for the remainder of this first quarter. As they don't have to run another play before the clock expires. Drove straight down the field and scored. The Spartans we would like to thank our Prince William football pregame meal sponsor, Sardis Restaurant. Sardis has a new location in Alexandria at 
Trips to the left, longer being the shotgun, flanked by Anthony Eaton. Longer being rolls to his right. It was a throwback to Eaton. It was covered. Longer being takes a move. Pass was intercepted. There's a flag on the play. There was two flags thrown on the play. One may be an eligible receiver downfield. An eligible downfield decline. It'll be first down for the Spartans. It was a throwback pass to Eaton on that play. It was covered by the end. Long Beach started to run. Then he saw open receiver try to throw it down. Do an interception. And the Spartans get the first big break of the game, a turnover. And it'll be Spartans ball at the Titans 37 yard line. They spread out to the right on the wagon play. Anthony Musket keeps it. Gets a game of six. Second and four. The Titans did flex over and cover the strip side where they flooded the field. But nobody accounted for the running the quarterback who got a seam and got upfield for positive yards. Watch out for it was a runner. They fake the jet. He keeps it up the middle, wide open. Nobody there. Must get with the 39-yard touchdown run, and the Spartans have taken the lead. The Titans all flexed out to cover the receivers, and there was nobody left to account for the quarterback. All it takes is the linebacker going to the wrong gap, and the Spartans capitalize on the turnover. Spartans are definitely energized here. Looks like it's a bad snap. And the Titans are all over it. So the X point is no good with 1025 remaining in the second quarter. It is Titans 7, Spartans 13. The Spartans are definitely spreading the Titans out. Communication issues are showing. On that play, two players jumped the jet sweep coming around. And 
No one accounted for an empty musket up the middle. You gotta trust your keys, you gotta trust your read. Spartans have definitely shown an offensive propensity. Titans are gonna have to match them here. West Springfield has decided they're not gonna kick the ball deep. It would be wise if the Titans put some ball handlers in that in that up position and they can get a return from there. Good call, coach. Spartans line the ball up on the 40. So it's another swift kick. It's picked up at the 25, gets to the 35. That's number 10, and Damian, Carey, Damian Thompson, who caught the touchdown, one of the up backs, tight end, decently proficient with the ball. So you could switch him and maybe you know, Rogers are honesty there because it's available for a return. But the Titans can get the ball. The Titans have had good field position today. They started on the 35, the 35, and the 38. Spartan defense hasn't shown much to stop them other than long means completion to the other team. Line up under center, hand off it to Eaton, right up the middle, four yards. It'll be second and six for the Titan offense. Anthony Eaton on the carry to pick up a four, second and six. Gets the edge, dives ahead, and gets a Titan first down. Even though that was an inside run, Eaton bounced it to the Eaton outside. The carry. Got it on Pick the edge. Seven, first and ten, TD from midfield. The Titans who start attacking the edges on the Spartans. Well, they are definitely the more athletic, faster team. First and ten, directly in midfield on the St. James logo. Beam on the center. Toss to Eaton on the gains the edge. Gets downhill. Gets seven, eight yards before he's picked up. Anthony Eaton on the carry. Titans are starting seven, second and three. Titans are starting to attack the edges more, going to that off tackle, that five and seven gap. As they had they attack mainly the A and B gaps, the one and three holes on the first two drives. That leaves them with the second and two. On the Spartans, 43 yard line. Long two, short three. The longer beam confirms the play, gets the snap, play action. Throws it deep. It is caught by Michael Mensa on the deep over route. Pick up a 35, first and goal, PC from the six yard line. It was one on one on the outside, and the Spartans have been daring them to throw it, and the Titans do. The play action gave Longer Beam a clean pocket. When it's one on one, you throw it out front, and you let the receiver go get it. And, and Mensa was thrown open there by Longer Beam. Now it's first and goal from the six yard line for the Titan offense. Good mix in the play calling there. Hand off to Eaton. He's met at the five and is drawn back. Anthony Eaton on the carry. Maybe a, up a one. gain of one. Spartans are trying Second to and goal. trade in linemen. I wouldn't shy away from the pass game here. Still nine in the box. There's a lot of room to Mensa on that left side, especially off of Bootland. Second down, eating up the A gap, gets to the two, and he stood up. Anthony Eaton on the carry, pick up a two. Third.
there they go. Titans are going quick here, but the Spartans are still trying to sub Lyman in and off every play. Stays up, touchdown. and it's a touchdown. T.C. Williams, Anthony Eaton. Never is still your go-to play in the red zone, and Anthony Eaton goes in, and the score is now tied at 13 all. Coach Longerbeam is trying to establish the fact that we are going to run the ball directly at you, and thus far it's been successful. Most definitely, Coach. Although I must admit that 45-yard uh, pass was a little twist in the action. But that was number 24. The Omar kick is Lemon up and good. With the extra point, and the Titans take the lead. 14 to 13 with six minutes and 54 seconds left in the first half. Like Coach said, you show showing some tendency breakers. You, you show the same run, you show the same run. Your play action off of it was wide open. That was the big play of that drive. Anthony Eaton cashes it in, and the Titans regain the lead. Titans defense is going to have to step up and make a play here because the Spartans do receive the ball to start the second half. They're going to have to make a stop. The Titans line up to kick. That is Stevenson and Davies for the Spartans. Ball is kicked deep. Good kick. Over his head. Oh, and it just happens to roll in the end zone. But one more bounce sideways, and that would have sat on the one-yard line. Just a good job there making the Spartans start at the 25-yard line. And, it, and the, the referees move it back. High school is still 20 yards. I'm about to say, high school is still the 20-yard line. College and the pros is 25 on the touchback on the kickoff. So the Spartans will get it first and 10. Two receivers to each side for Musket. Gives on the handoff. He tiptoes and gets maybe two yards before he's met by a host of Titans. Good receiver for the Titans. Stevenson with the carry there. Just the Titans are able to seal those gaps. And when those gaps are sealed in those zone reads, the running backs start to dance. And they're not going downhill. They're tiptoeing. And then the Titans can rally to the ball. It'll be second and, second and nine on the 21-yard line. Spartans change the play call after they already are lined up. They snap the ball. It is intercepted by Ricardo Ross to the 30, to the 20, to the 10. It's knocked out of bounds inside of the 10 yard line. That play was made by Dylan Lee, the the de defensive end, his pressure on Musket, he hit Musket as he drew that ball, and it, and it fluttered in the air, and Ricardo Ross went and got it. And his athletic ability, he intercepted that around the 45 and got it inside the 10. That levels the uh, turnover uh, match, one-to-one. -one. Let's see if the Titans can capitalize on the turnover. Yeah, the Spartans had a out of college. The Titans need to come up with an idea. But anyway, it's 6.08 left in the first half. The ball right inside the 10. Handoff is to Eaton downhill, and he gets seven yards. And there's a flag on the play. Thrown by the umpire. It's never a good sign for the offense when the umpire calls it. And it is a hold on the Titan offense. Titans have, been, Titans have been okay offensively, penalty-wise. It's their first one, but that one comes at a bad time. Anthony Eaton was running off the left side, and that looked like a center that held there. So it's going to make it first and goal from the 16-yard line. First and goal from the 16. Get the 
bootleg. Logger beam gets the edge. Gets to the five yard line before he's knocked out of bounds. Robert Logger beam on the carry. That's a good time to call a bootleg. Everyone followed the action. Everyone followed the action of Eaton. Logger beam got around the right side. Picked up at nine. It'll be first and second. Second and goal from the six. Titans now at the six yard line, second and goal. Longer beam goes on the center. Hands it to Eaton. Dances to off the right side. Gets to about the two-yard line. We'll make it third and goal from the two. Anthony Eaton on the carry. Gets a pickup of four. Third and goal from the two-yard line. Definitely the famous four-down territory for the Titans. If they don't get it here, they will go for it on fourth down. So expect Eaton or Longer beam. And there's a timeout called by the West Ringfield timeout. Spartans. 518 remaining in the second quarter. The Titans leading 14 to 13. The Spartans have called timeout. As the teams talk it over. back here in St. James taking on the Centerville Wildcats. Kick off at 7 p.m. Get your tickets early as this is standing room only tonight. As the Titans keep playing their out of conference games, there are only five teams in the Titans conference, so they're the last four games of the season. So when we resume action, it'll be third and goal from the two-yard line. Titans have compressed the formation. They've brought in number 30, Adam Hunter, and number 23, Samuel Amico, two defensive players to get some more girth. We used to call this the jumbo package. Longer beam hands it off to Eaton, dances to the left side, and it's a touchdown, T.C. Williams, Titans. That the Titans get the turnover, march down the field and score. Even with the holding penalty, once you get once you give a team the ball inside of the ten, chances are they're going to score. The Titans did exactly what they were supposed to do. That goes all the way back to Dylan Lee, number ninety-one. His pressure on on Musket forced the bad throw, which led to the interception. High snap. And it is corralled. The Spartans hit the holder. The try is no good. The Titans are leading now 20 to 13 with five minutes and 13 seconds remaining in the second quarter. That snap was high. And he did good to corral it, but he paid the price for it. The Titans have now got the momentum. Need to have a good kickoff here at 10 minutes each. Keep your foot on, keep your foot on the gas here. This, this game can go either way. kick it off. They kick it deep. It is fielded at the six-yard line. He took too long there, and Davies is met by a host of Titans inside the 20-yard line. Great kick, great coverage, and the Spartans are going to have to go a long way to get near the end zone, as it'll be first and 10 on the 18-yard line. 18-yard line, there will be first and Musket comes back out. They're going empty. They fake, he fakes it. 
Let's get up the middle. QB, QB draw. You can tell the offensive coordinator for the Spartans trusts him the most with the ball. Muskets able to get to the 35-yard line, gain of 17 on the play. Titans going to have to force him to throw that wide. The receivers for the West Springfield don't even look like they know what the play is. They finally get settled. The quarterback rolls to his right. Longerbean went for the interception and just missed it. And it's going to be roughing the passer on top of it. That was Dylan Lee who caused the interception last drive. Saw the quarterback, got there a tad late. Robert Longerbeam had read the play and jumped the interception and forgot the ball. And the Spartans get the first down plus the 15 yards for roughing the passer. That is not what the Titans defense needed. now on the Titan 33-yard line. Seth flips the field. And they give it up the middle to Stevenson. And he tiptoes for about four yards. Stevenson isn't the most aggressive runner, but when he has gaps, defenders are looking at the quarterback to see if they squeeze through to get a few yards. The Titans are, I mean, the Spartans are now in empty. Here comes the dead motion. They fake it. And he's able to get another eight yards in the first down. The dead motion is throwing the Titans defense off. They're hesitating just enough. And Muskets is getting a good push from his offensive line. All they're doing is blocking straight ahead. And he just finds a seam in there. First and 10, right on the 20 yard line. It is right on the 20 yard line with three minutes left in the first half. Spartans on the move here. Here comes the motion. They, he reverses it back. Somebody open, and it's a catch. That was a catch from Reed Dexter. It was actually a bad throw, but a good catch. Showed that they flowed one way and they ran a bootleg off of that off of that action. Good play design from the Spartans. Just getting, getting the Titans a little bit out of place. And that's how they get their players open. They're not, they're not better athletes than the Titans. They're just scheme open well. It's first and goal from the seven yard line back. The running back gets it around the left edge. Good job by the corner. Muhammad Ali, he he held the edge. The running back, instead of cutting inside of him, tried to go around him, and he loses three. Now the Spartans get pushed back outside the 10 to the 11-yard line, and it is a timeout for Springfield. That's their second. They have one remaining. 207 remaining. minutes, seven seconds left in the in the first half. The Spartans are in the red zone. Titans need to find a way to come up with a stop. The big play on this drive was the completion of Dylan Reed that was exacerbated by the rough of the passer call, which was which is one of those hustle plays. You see the quarterback standing out there, you want to hit him. There is a chess match here. I see some, uh, some film study has happened, uh, occurred at both schools at the schemes, the offensive schemes right now is outplaying both defenses. Definitely, that's what kind of happens in this season. The Titans actually have more game film, game on film this season than the Spartans. The Spartans are only playing two games, the Titans playing three. And two of the Titans contests were hard fought, so they showed a lot on film. It'll be second and goal from just inside the 12-yard line for the Spartan offense with two minutes and seven seconds remaining in the second quarter. The Spartans go to trip to the right side. Go 
Throw to the right, he keeps it. Nobody catches the quarterback, and he jogs in. Anthony Muskie with his second rushing touchdown. Everyone flows to the outside with the receivers, and nobody can count for the quarterback. There's a few of those Spartan receivers that haven't looked near a ball tonight. The first read is going to have to be Musket. Make him a passer. Spartan to the extra point, and he made it. And the score is now Casey Williams 20, West Springfield 20. Titans do have two minutes and two seconds left. If the Spartans choose to squib again, you put one of your returners to up back, you can get the ball around the 40, 45 yard line here. Do you have enough time to go down the field and score? Spartans do get the ball to start the second half. So it would be good for the Titans to score here. Desso's lined up to kick. He, he doesn't have a, he doesn't have a deep back, so he's kicking it short. Another squib kick. Longer beam is there. He picks it up at the 15. He gets to the middle of the field. Spin move. Gets back outside and he's brought down. Maybe one dance a little too many there, but it was a good. It's a good it's a good adjustment putting longer beam there to return. I would. I don't think West Springfield would be too keen to give him too many chances to return the ball. So the Titans will get the ball at the 25-yard line with a minute 54 left. So it's the chance to get the ball more at the 25-yard line. Titans go four wide here. Longer beam and shotgun, Michael Honesty to his left. Give is the honesty up the middle. Michael Honesty on the carry. Titans will go quick. Four, the Titans go six. Another get. Longer B keeps it. Gets the edge. Gets out of bounds. Right around the first down, longer beam on the carry. Maybe a yard shy. He has to get to the Titans have to get to the 35 yard line for a first down. Pick up a spot for a third and two. Honestly stays in the game. Titans go back under center. Honestly, gets the first down. Michael Honesty on the carry, pick up a three, and a Titans first down. Now that the Titans have gotten the first down, they may try to take a shot or two here. The clock is running here. Longer beam under center. Play action. Looks deep. Longer beam throws a bad pass. And there's a reason why number 31 for the Spartans plays defense. Evan Winkler looked like the attendant receiver. Hit him in the numbers. It was a drop. And the Titans held on the play. On that play, he just th he should just throw it shorter to Mensa. Let Mensa come back and get the ball. He's one on one with a DB that has no clue what he's doing. Just throw it short. See if Mensa can go get the ball. That's the second one that that he has thrown in traffic. This one happened not to be intercepted. 
got to be careful with the ball. Titans are definitely going to look like they run here. They bring Eaton back in and go into eye formation. The Spartans have used two of their timeouts, so they're not really able to stop it to make the Titans punt. Titans are going to milk this clock and won't snap it until they have to. It's 40 seconds after the ball is set. The ball is set with about 44 seconds. Give this to Eaton. Eaton gets through. He was close. There was one person left. The clock is down to 13, 12, 11. Looks like the Titans are, are willing to concede score at the half, being tied at 20 apiece. And at the half, and the half, the score, T.C. Williams 20, West Springfield 20. Titans are, Titans are lined up to kick it off in the second half. 2020 here at the St. James Athletic Field House. First high school game indoors. Jim Gibson here with Felix Tremel. And the second half kickoff is there. Fields it at the 10. He's out to the 15, to the 20. Taken down at the 21 yard line. Brooke Stevenson on the carry. Well, this has been an offensive battle. Nobody has seemed to be able to uh, have a defensive stop. The only way they've stopped him is turned it over. The Spartan quarterback is having a field day, Anthony Musket. He's lined up in the shotgun, two receivers to the left. Man in motion. They give it to him, and he picks up about 10. Ethan Davies on the carry. Pickup of about eight, maybe nine. It'll be second and one. Musket with an empty backfield. Two receivers, three to the right, two to the left. They change the play. Coach is reading the TC defense. Quarterback draw again. And he picks up about 20 on the quarterback draw. Anthony Musket is just having his way. First and 10 from the 48 yard line. The Titans are gonna have to have someone account for the quarterback. Hand off to number two, breaks a tackle. He's gone. 
Brooks Stevenson, 52 yards for the score. Well, our defensive coordinator is going to have to tighten up. Those are those are our scheme touchdowns. They're getting field people in open space. Coach, they. That was two plays, just sweep handoff, just sweep handoff, and the quarterback keeper. And the Titans have not defended either one well tonight. They are, they're being outflanked by the formation. Uh, and they, with that wide formation, lanes, here, lanes all over the place. TC's going to have to either man up uh, and, and play smash mouth, or those lanes will continue to be open all night. They're, if I was them... You take the lesser two evils, you sell out, you, you, you make them throw the ball over the top. Michael Honesty and Treonte Rogers back deep for the Titans to receive this kick. 10 30 to go. West Springfield comes out and scores in a minute and a half. Titans will get the ball. Honesty and, and Rogers back deep for the Titans. The Spartans have decided not to kick it deep. They've done uh, executed the squib kick. Looks like we're going to get more of the same. They do. It's, it is a squib kick. Ball's fielded by number three. Comes right. Comes back left. Turns the corner. He's to the 40. To the 45. To the 50. To the 50. Inside down to the 20-yard line. That's Bernard Lee on the carry. He's a linebacker, <laughs> but he was running like a running back there. B.J. Lee is probably one of the top five receivers on this team. I mean, athletes on this team. He is a dual sport athlete, plays on the basketball team. T.C. has great field position, first and 10 from, their, uh, from the West Springfield 19-yard line. Longer beam lines up on the center. Rogers to the right. Mensa to the left. Handoff to Eaton. He gets a couple. Longer being hands to Eaton. Eaton off the right side, up the middle. Down to the one yard line. First and goal, Titans from the one yard line. If we have an offensive battle here, the defensive coordinators must be uh, so upset they don't know what to do. They will not like film session on Monday. Longer beam under center. No flag. Longer beam hands it to Eaton. Off the right side, touchdown. <laughs> 8.49 to go, Titans answer back. 
three minutes and 11 seconds. We've had 12 points, uh, 13 points scored already with the extra point waiting. The kick is up, and it is good. 8.49 in the third quarter, 27 all. We got a barn burner here today. Both teams are going up and down the field relentlessly, and it seems like uh, the defenses are having a tough time. Titans line up to kick it off. Stevenson back deep for the Spartans. They kick it long, they kick it deep. Field it at the five, and he went down. Ethan Davis slipped, his, his knee hit and the, the Spartans will have the ball deep in their own territory, first and 10 from the six yard line. Good break for the Titans defense. We'll see if they can uh, hold them down there some. We've got some defensive changes up front. Titans uh, have a little beef up there. John Canoe uh, in the middle of that uh, Titan defensive line. Up the middle, and Canoe is on the stop. No gain. Second and nine from the seven. They tried the middle of that line with a straight handoff. That, that has not worked. The middle doesn't open up and, uh, until the quarterback does it with a draw. Quarterback rolls out to the right, throws it deep, out of bounds. Longer beam on the coverage, but the ball was sailing out of bounds. He'll clog up the middle. John Canoe transferred out this time. It is third and nine from the seven. This is where they run the quarterback draw, but they leave it open this time and the receiver is wide open. Pass is complete to number 26, Ethan Davies. First and 10, Spartans from their own 29-yard line. Two receivers to the left, two to the right, set back. Back to the right. Fake the hand off the draw again. He breaks a tackle, breaks another tackle. Gets out to the about the 42-yard line. Pick up of 13 and another first down. Anthony Musket has had quite a night. Um, 
passing and running. 7-10. First and 10 from the 43 yard line. Musket in the shotgun. Draw again. Breaks another tackle, picks up 12. Musket is going right up the middle of the T.C. Williams defense for chunks of eight and 10 yards a crack. He's in the shotgun again, spread formation. He's back to throw, looks long, complete. There's a flag on the play. Face mask against the Titans. That's 15. They'll take the ball down to the 15 yard line. First and 10, West Springfield on the Titans, 14 yard line, 6.05 to go in the third quarter. Musket in the shotgun, hands it off to number two. He dances a bit. That's Christian, gets a couple yards. Second and four for the Titans from about the nine yard line. Musket in the shotgun, Stevenson lined up behind him. Inside, handoff to number 45. He gets a few up to about the uh, three or four. First and goal, West Springfield inside the five yard line. Musket hands it off to number two, Christensen Stevenson. He's in for the touchdown. If you like offensive football, you got some tonight. This has absolutely been a shootout. Four fifty-one remaining in the third quarter. West Springfield goes up a touchdown, 34 to 27. Titans are going to have to do something here adjustment-wise. They were doing pretty good with John Canoe in there plugging up the middle, but they took him out on the key third down that Spartans were able to convert. And then once, once like most spread offenses, once they get the first first down, they get they get going. They're going to have to contain Muskin. Make him throw it. He did complete a pass there, but you got to make him throw it. If you just let him run, he's going to run. It's a safer play. They're going to run you to death. Much of the damage has been, though, with the uh, quarterback draw. I would send someone after him every play. <laughs> Honesty and Rodgers back deep. But if it's true to form, it'll go to one of the up men. Titans had a fantastic run back last time when they kicked it short. 
We'll see where they, what the plan is now. Looks like they're trying to pooch kick. Fielded by number 50. And he runs over a couple guys for eight yards. Titans will get it on the uh, on the 48 yard line. <laughs> George is Sita on the return, but he is also a fullback, and uh, you can see it. He just went, put his head down for seven or eight yards, bowled over one guy. Longer beam under center. Hand off to Eaton. He gets about one only this time off the uh, right side. Longer beam off the right side. He picks up 10, 12, 13 yards, first down. Longer beam under center. Eye formation, two receivers to the right. Gets a snap, hand off to Eaton. Eaton gets a couple off the left side and plows for about six or seven. Steady march up the field today. Neither defense has been able to put any kind of stop. I don't think we've had a three and out all day. There's a flag. I think we got a horse collar. Just like a face mask is the call. Personal face mask against West Springfield. That'll be tacked on at the end of the run. It'll be first and 10 TC from the West Springfield 12 yard line. Longer beam is now in the shotgun with three receivers to the right. Hand off to Honesty. I formation, two receivers to the right. A handoff to Anthony Eaton. He just he just plowed through. First down, first and goal, about the two yard line. One fifty four remaining. 
I'd be shocked if you don't get a heavy dose of Anthony Eaton. No. Longer beam turns and steps in for the touchdown. One forty-three remaining. Titans answer. It's going to be a, a an ugly Monday afternoon for the defensive coaches. Watching this uh, these films. Titans convert, 143 remaining in the third quarter, 34-34. This is by far the, the worst showing for the Titans defense this year. They gave up 40 points last week, but three of those were on a short field based on fumbles on the special teams, but uh, special teams haven't come into play because there's been no punts in this game. No, we, we got 143 remaining in the third quarter. Nobody's punting the ball. They're scoring or turning it over. We're at the St. James Athletic Facility, first indoor high school ball football game in Virginia history. And it is a barn burner. 34 all, 143 remaining in the third quarter. Titans lined up to kick. Once again, they kick it deep. Stevenson turns one way, turns right. Flag on the play. We're getting some interesting activity with these stiff arms. It appears that the offensive player can put his hands in the face of the defender, but the defender cannot. Yeah, that looked like the player was being stiff arm making a tackle. But he's the one that's called for the for the for the face mask. But it's interesting. Hands to the face is a penalty. But we see ball carriers doing the stiff arm, and that's never called. Yeah, they they stiff arm and grab the face mask and pull the face away instead of, which should be illegal. Musket lines up in the shotgun. It's number two, Stevenson again. Musket, Stevenson, and Dexter have been quite the uh, skill set performers today. Second and one, Stevenson in, goes in motion off the other side and picks up another 10. Titans don't appear to have a defensive answer for the Spartans. They are methodically moving up the field at will. Musket in the background, in, in, in the back in the shotgun. Stevenson shifts, empty backfield now. Takes a snap, quarterback draw, straight quarterback draw. Oh, there's a hold in the middle of the field. Referees don't call it. Musket scores. Defender was 
clearly being held by his jersey from the back. West Springfield has determined that the Titans' interior line cannot stop the quarterback draw, and they are running it at will. West Springfield answers again. It's now 40-34, five seconds remaining in the third quarter. West Springfield is spreading them out and running straight up the middle. So Titans would have to do something different. They either, I suggest you load, load the bottom, make him throw it on the outside. Because right now, they're just spreading them thin. And Musk is just running up the middle untouched in some of these plays. And one other observation, I didn't see Ricardo Ross out there on that last series, Coach. He's usually that last line of defense. He already had the interception on defense. Musk is running wild. Stevenson is uh, on that inside counter. Titans defense is looking porous today. If it's true to form, we can expect another short kick. Titans have adjusted and put some uh, ball handlers at this, at that second and third tier. Bernard Lee again gets a block. He's up the right side. Up to the about the 45 yard line. Good field position. BJ Lee was the returner. That's the end of the third quarter. And off to Eaton, off the left side. Picks up about five or six. It'll be second and four. Two receivers to the right. Titans in the eye formation. Takes a snap. Gives it to Honesty. They caught him in the backfield. Loss of one. Longer beam in the shotgun, three receivers to the right. 
Touch pass. Pop pass again. He's gone. Tight end for another touchdown. Same play they ran in the first half. Exact same play from the first half. Damian. That is the exact play they ran in the first half. And it ran, they ran it to perfection. This time, honesty was a decoy. Linebacker took one step out. Tight end went up the seam, wide open. Kick is up, it's good. That, well, the offensive coordinators have been spending serious time watching film. Maybe the defensive coordinators were in there watching it with them. Yeah, that that was just going to what worked in the first quarter. They did that fourth and goal from the 10. It was wide open. That one's even more wide open. They overloaded one side. The corner followed. So when Honesty flexed out to the left, the linebacker went with him. Nobody remembered the tight end is on the line as the eligible receiver. Ran right down the middle of the field. And it's shot, shot right now. Going to find out who's going to blink first. Stevenson and Davis uh, back deep. Thomas Watson lined up to kick it deep for the Titans. Onside kick. Onside kick. Titans attempted the onside kick to get a possession that didn't work. Close, close. Uh, they muffed it. That call does not upset me at all. It was a momentum play. And, and, you know, no one has stopped anyone else on defense. Getting that an extra possession would have been fine. Musket hands it off. Oh, they get him this time. Loses one. But they have, they've got to, they can, they've stopped that play all day. And then they've uh, given up the long quarterback draw. The tendency says this is going to be a short pass you know, to the slot, and after, and on third down, quarterback draw. That's the, uh... Hey, hey. Long pass over the middle. Complete to Dexter, Reed Dexter. Musket put that ball on the money. That was a great pass. Hand off to number 25, goes around the corner, gets the touchdown. Ethan Davies.
Kick is good. 9.13 to go. West Springfield's up 13 to go in the game. Titans uh, in a slugfest. If by slugfest you mean no defense, then yes. Absolutely. We're expecting another short kick. Neither team has uh, has this. Fielded by number 10. He's already had two touchdowns already. He breaks to the outside. He's still running. Damian Thompson down to the 38-yard line of the Spartans. Correction, that's a 43-yard line. Longer beam under center. Hand off to Eaton. Eaton goes off the right side, off the left side. Picks up about three or four. Good spot gives him five. It'll be second and five from now the 38. Longer beam, hands it off to Honesty. Honesty cuts right, cuts left. Oh, and there's a flag. Two flags on the play. It's in that unfriendly area that they call holding. Ten yard penalty replay, second down will be second and eleven. Three receivers to the right. Honesty in the backfield. Flanks him now to the left. Longer beam in the shotgun. Straight handoff to Honesty. Oh, picks up maybe one or two. Bring up third and ten. has been all offense, no punts today. No punts by either team. No three and outs by either team. Interception by number 26, Ethan Davies. Returns it for 60 yards and a touchdown. Seven minutes to go. Spartans go up 
Seven minutes remaining. Second turnover for the Titans. This time deadly, they go back and return it. Yeah, that Ethan Davies playing both ways. He read that right off the jump. He looked like he was the intended receiver. Caught it in stride. No way anyone was going to catch him. Titans had two receivers over there, too. It was trips. They had it. Nobody, somebody missed the block or something. But that's that's something you got to you got to make. Or if or if Longer Beam sees that pump fake it and run, you use your legs. Because it was going to be four down territory regardless. I would like the variation of that pop pass. They could have went to that and you had another backside receiver behind them. Thompson and Longer Beam deep. Rogers and Honesty, the up backs. Ball goes out of bounds. Six fifty nine remaining. We're gonna see how much fight the Titans have in them. They hand it to Eaton. Back to pass. Picks up one as he starts to scramble. It's third and nine. Six ten and counting in the game. Titans try to set up the screen. It didn't work. Fourth and eight, 544 remaining. And absolutely need to go, go for this. No need to punt it at this point. Longer being back to pass. Throws it deep. Caught. Donovan Eason on about a 40 yard reception. Longer beam in the shotgun. Three receivers to the right, one to the left. Hand off to Eaton. Eaton breaks a tackle and scores. It's not over. If the defense can stand up for one series,
Oh, extra point is no good. If you like offensive football, you've seen it tonight. 102 points scored tonight. West Springfield lined up preparing for the onside kick. This would be a good place. Uh, this will be a good place for that intermediate kick. West Springfield has. They've got 10 yards within 20 yards. 10, 10 players. You kick it. No, not deep, but in, intermediate. About that 30 yard, kind of high in the air, to one one of the two uh, sides. Make them run and get it backwards. Stevenson on the carry. They grab him and he's down inside the 20. It'll be first and 10, West Springfield on the 20 yard line, 459 remaining. 55-47, the Spartans are up. Quarterback draw. He picks up 15 yards. They have been unable to stop Anthony Musket. Four thirty-four remaining. They are a little bit more deliberate now. Musket looking two receivers to the right, two to the left. Man in motion. They give it to the inside back. They get twelve more yards. Three fifty-nine, first and ten, West Springfield from the Titan forty-eight yard line. Musket in the shotgun, letting the clock run some. Man in motion again, handoff to him, comes around the end. He breaks a tackle and picks up three. They had him in the backfield.
3.07 and counting. Second and seven from the 43. Stevens off the right side. Just going with the motion and setting the corner, 20 yards. Two thirty-eight remaining. The Titans have had no defensive answer for the Spartans. They have just systemically moved up and down the field with handoffs and not even running it. Break another tackle. Stevenson picks up nine, 224, clock running. West Springfield has an eight point lead and the ball. Time out, West Springfield. You look back at this game, the offense produced at the level that you're expecting them to produce at. 47 points should be a win. In, in any level, at 47 any level, points is a win. The Titans offense again stood up as the defense had a rough night. The Titans have not forced a single punt. No three and outs. They have not had an answer for West Springfield at all. They had one play, and that was the Ricardo Ross interception. They actually got some pressure on, on Musket and forced a bad throw, and they turned over. That was it. That's the end of the defensive highlights for the night. Musket may ha must have 250 yards and three touchdowns. Running. On the same play on the quarterback draw. When a, when, when a non-option team quarterback is getting guards like that, that's, a, that's an issue. The Titans, the Titans pride themselves on being a, an athletic, fast, uh, fast team, but West Springfield's offensive has outrun our defense tonight. Hand off to Stevenson. Touchdown. <laughs> Titans give up 60 points. And and they've all been on offensive plays. These, these were not turnovers that caused them. They have earned all 62 po 60 points. One forty four to go, West Springfield sixty two, TC forty seven. That's how it's been all night. It's been open lanes, just Spartans running. It's the quarterback, the running backs. They all have open seams running the ball. And the Titans look out of place. They, the defensive line was pretty much non-existent tonight, which led to open lanes. And by the time the DBs get to them, they're 10, 12 yards down the field. So the Titans are going to have to put this on the back burner against uh, both Robinson and South County, the defense looked much more stout than they did tonight. They essentially gave up two, two touchdowns last week against a stout 
South County offense, but tonight they have had no answer whatsoever for this West Spring spill spread offense. Oh, there's a flag on the play that is 30 yards from the play, from the action. Unbelievable flag there. Indication is maybe a blindside block which has changed the game of football tr tremendously. There's been much attention given to safety in the game, and they, they uh, at some levels, they call it a defenseless player. Um, you shouldn't be defenseless on your field, but if it's blindside, they are going to call that now Illegal, they mark it back, 15. <laughs> One thirty remaining. Carter Ross at quarterback. Loses it. Titans turn it over at the 10, 10 yard line. Timeout, West Springfield. Well, an exciting game. Titans' first home game at the St. James Sports facility. Offense was able to put up 47, but the defense could not answer, giving up 62 points. I can't recall in recent history where the Titans have yielded 62 points. Yeah, I'm thinking back. It, even some of the games where they've lost by a little bit, they didn't give up 62. I think it may have been the low 50s or something in there, but it was never 60s. That's 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 a lot. That's probably I know that's the highest under Coach Longerbeam. Lined up in the I formation. Uh, switching it now to pro set. Straight handoff. Clock is running, 116 to go. Offsides against the Titans. Clock 
clock is running. They will have to run one more play, and that will be the ball game. Hand off to Stevenson. He doesn't get in. That should do it. 13 seconds left. They'll let it. Uh, they'll let it tick off. Final score is going to be West Springfield Spartans 62, Titans 47. Titans had a tough night, exciting night, 100 and 109 points combined scored tonight. But the Titans come up on the short end. They'll take on a tough Centerville team next week right here at the um, St. James facility. This is Jim Gibson along with Felix Tremell signing off. Titans take a tough one tonight. They lose to West Springfield 62 to 47. Thanks and good night.